Hello guys, this is Spicy, and this is a review on a Bandai High Grade Universal Sentry or HGUC, the Gok. So this one's a mass production type, not the uh, Shars the Gok. This one is in the uh, mass production color, and uh, let's take a look at the box. So this kit was released in 1999. That's a long time ago. And here we have some pictures of the Zagok. When this kit was released, I was still in high school. Wow. And the uh, original retail price is 700 yen. Here we have some gimmicks of the Zagok. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a very small box for a very simple kit. Here we have the uh, stickers, foil stickers. And here we have the instruction manual. It's a very small instruction manual. So this thing is made from super high tension steel. And the armament are claw arms. The claw arms. And we have the mega particle gun, which is integrated into uh, the hands. And then we have uh, 240 millimeter rockets, which are fired from the top of the head. All right, and here we have the back of the box, uh, back of the manual, <laughs> yeah, and uh, here we have some pictures of the Zagok, pretty cool. All right, some more artwork, and how to assemble this kit, very simple. So what I did was, uh, it doesn't have any accessories, so I just, you know, detailed the heck out of this kit, put a ton of decals on this kit. And uh, yeah, I think it looks a lot better. I also painted in the claws partially. I painted in the interior of the claw with metallic paint. Also painted in the uh, uh, mega particle gun. You can see uh, the tip of the uh, hand right there. Those are painted with uh, uh, metallic copper to uh, make the particle gun more appearing. Uh, here we have the top, which are missiles, and I also painted the uh, bottom with the uh, propellers. So, yeah, it's pretty good. Alright, so, yeah, the hand opens up with claws, and you can fire the mega particle gun, or you can close it and stab somebody. And, uh, yeah, let's talk about articulation. There's really not much to talk about with this kit. So, the fees on the ball joint, polycap. And then uh, we have uh, uh, a bend right here, a knee bend. We have uh, articulation on every joint, so it's got pretty decent articulation. I've uh, got a ball joint at the hip, but uh, yeah, this thing is really highly articulated because uh, each individual joint uh, can art rotate, so it's got the thigh cut and everything, so that's actually pretty cool. And then we have ab crunch which is really good. And then we have waist articulation, ab crunch, and not, nothing for the head because, you know, this is just one piece right there. Uh, we have uh, a bend at the elbow. We have uh, our t uh, ball joint here at this joint and another ball joint here. So really good articulation. Yeah, and uh, no hands, just claws. So you can articulate each claw individually and you can rotate the hand like so that's pretty good and then the backpack you can move a little bit although it's not really meant to move these are just a uh, 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 jet propulsion system for underwater travel and uh, yeah like most of the Xeon suits uh, I think you can go into the uh, uh, transportation mode like this so the head looks up like that and uh, you know I had to put it on like some sort of a action base or something uh, and maybe create some sort of a stand for it and uh, yeah you can fly uh, just cruise through the water like that it's very cool it's a very nice looking kit I, I already uh, reviewed the Zigaki and I th originally I thought this kit was kind of ugly but uh, you know, after getting it and after looking at it for a while, I think uh, it's actually pretty cool. So yeah, uh, now I'm debating on either getting that uh, 
premium Bandai, uh, amazing Zagok, <laughs> just for the arms and stuff like that. But overall, it's a pretty, uh, pretty nice kit. You can probably get this kit for anywhere between ten to twelve dollars, and uh, it's a pretty nice kit. I recommend it. So, yeah, it's pretty much it for the Zagok. It's a very, very short review, but this is definitely a kit that you want to check out. There's also a real gray version. Uh, I think that one's like the Shars Zagok. But uh, yeah, anyway, it, it's uh, that one has better articulation, much more detail. So either way, uh, it uh, comes highly recommended. So check it out. Hope you guys find this information helpful. Thanks for watching.